Hello, I'm Mix Mowers and Mower Man, and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be working on a Honda HRX 476, which belongs to my mate Luke. He's a professional lawn care guy, and he's just rang me up to say his, uh, his Honda, uh, the height adjustment, the mower has just dropped to the floor, and uh, it's now scarifying lawn rather than cutting grass. Um, he's currently using his Honda Izzy, which I sold him a little while ago, and uh, he says it's hard work with that, so he wants his, his Honda up and back as soon as possible. I know he has had an accident uh, recently, and he's been off work sick, so therefore he's not earning no money, and uh, he wants to get back to work and get this machine running, so he can earn himself a few pounds as well. So I said, as soon as a part, as soon as the mower comes in, I'll order the part up, and we'll get it done and get it sorted for you. So hopefully, Today we can get Luke's mower up and running from Quick Sharp, and it would be a two-day turnaround. He dropped it off yesterday, and hopefully the part is here, and um, hopefully I've ordered the right one. And if it is, he gets the mower back the next day. There's not many lawn care guys, uh, lawn mower, um, small engine guys that can turn a lawn mower around inside a day, Quick Sharp like that. Most of the time, you have to wait, wait two or three weeks. But hopefully, I can get Luke up and running today. So I bought a new part for him. And the part is a 42961-VK8-A51. Uh, there's, your, <coughs> there's your part for you. There's your part number for this. And it is a height adjustment lever. Hopefully that, that's, the, that's the bit I need. On top of it, I had a few extra bits come in today. Uh, my mate Harry, Harry Potter, he's got a little YouTube channel called uh, Hagrid's Workshop. He's just sent me a parcel. I've been waiting for this. And he sent me one uh, airbox cover and bolts for a uh, Briggs and Stratton 7.5 horse, which is the uh, commercial one. I'm hoping this is this is the right cover for it. I bought the uh, lawnmower uh, very very cheap off a bloke called Barry, Aya Barry, um, but it was missing the the airbox cover and one or two other bits. So hopefully this is the right one. If it is, I can then go forward and sell this machine because without it, I can't sell it and I couldn't find the part in stock or available anywhere else in the UK. So Harry, if this is the right part, you might have just saved my bacon. I love bacon. On top of that, I have also now got two of these just come through, um, two little tiny bits of plastic. They don't look like much, but I can assure you they would be a lifesaver. This has come from my good friend. Uh, his old channel name used to be called BS Small Engines, but I think he has now since changed it. But if you type into YouTube, BS Small Engines, then uh, you will find my good friend Brandon over in Texas. And would you believe it, this actually cost $20 to send that, $20, 20 odd quid. Uh, so thank you, Brandon. And I shall show you very quickly what these do on a lawnmower, if I can find one. And uh, these are for removing your dead man's um, handle cables um, off of the machine. And I shall show you how it works very, very shortly. So thank you for that, Brandon. As always, mate, you are a rock star. So we're going to be doing that today. Um, Honda HRX 476 on the bench. I'll show you these little tools and if it's airbox fits as well, then uh, we'll, uh, we're on to a bit of a winner today and uh, we're, we're super, super ahead of it. So that's cool. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mows and Mower Man, hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell, set your notifications to all. That way you'll be told next time I upload another video and it is completely free to subscribe. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty. Let's check these new bits and pieces out that I've just been sent and also fix this Honda HRX 476 height control problem. So Brandon has sent me this little tiny tool here, as I say, <coughs> uh, from BS Small Engines. There's his uh, channel name there. I think it has, it's now called um, Let's Fix It or something. Um, so all you do is you put this um, through here like that, through the cable. We'd normally just use a pair of long nose pliers on here, uh, which is quite difficult to get in there. But he's designed this little tiny tool, which you now just fit on, pinch it over the top of the, um, the cable head, and then you can just then just retract. A dead man's cable just like that how simple is that a, a little tiny tool that normally would take you two or three minutes to try and squeeze them in two hands and what have you now literally look at this look straight on through, through the cable pinch it over the head of the arrow and just retract your retract your, your dead man's cable a fantastic little tool man you should get that painted um, brandon that is a, a, a proper tool i would i would pay 15 pound for that if uh if it, is, if it is on an Amazon store, 15 quid to save you three or four minutes of your time. Boom, quick and easy. Fantastic tool. If you want one of these, I believe Brandon has his own little shop. So go and check out um, BS Small Engines uh, on YouTube. I'm sure he's selling these, so go and check him out. He's a fantastic guy, and I think he fancies me. 
So before we get on and do the Honda, I wanted to see if actually this is the right part that my mate Harry Potter sent me uh, all the way from Wales. Another Welshie. All right, boy. Um, I've got a few Welsh mates, you know. So this is the lawnmower I picked up uh, off of uh, Barry. Off of Barry. Oh, big shout out to Liam too. Liam wanted a shout out. My mate Liam, uh, I think he's autistic, I think. Young lad, he uh, asked for a shout out. So hi Liam, how you doing buddy boy? Thanks for watching my old channel. So this one I picked up, this has got the 7.5 uh, IC engine, which is not commonly found over here in the UK. Don't see a lot of them. Um, but I did see it, uh, Barry had it for sale and uh, it was running to a degree. I had done a carburetor clean on it and some bits and pieces, had a fuel leak and whatever. So I've sorted it out. Uh, I bought it cheaper from my old mate Barry but it was, uh, the, dri the, the drive has been disconnected, so now, now it's a push roller mower, uh, and it's a plastic deck. But it was missing this cover here, and uh, I couldn't find it for love nor money. Couldn't find it anywhere, anywhere. Well, I could find it, just couldn't get hold of it. Um, no one had it in stock. So I reached out on me Instagram, and my mate Harry Potter, Hagrid's workshop, he said, Mick, I've got a Viking lawnmower, the exact same engine, but the engine's toast. So if you want it, you can have it. Well, he sent it over to me. It's been about two weeks. Uh, it must just be Welsh Post, I suppose. Um, and he said, you know, if you want it, you go. So I've got that, and I've also got the two bolts that go with it as well, because they're about five pounds. And uh, Harry said, you can have it for have it for nothing, Mick, because I've helped him out beforehand. So we do a bit of a trade, and he sent it to me for nothing. So hopefully this part will now fit. I hope it does. I hope it's the right one. If it ain't, I'm going to scream. I hope it's the right part. Oh, I don't think it is, Harry. Oh, I don't know if it is or not. Well, it should be. Mm, let's just try and fit it without it, without the air filter. They do, they do differ. Oh, is it not going to fit? I don't think it's going to fit, Harry. I think it's actually the wrong one. Oh, it is. It is the wrong one, Harry. But do you know what? For a risk it for a biscuit, that bolt fits. That bolt nearly fits. Oh, it's not far out. It's actually the wrong one. Oh, but this is a problem I've been ha having with this engine. I cannot find this box for love nor money. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to modify this. I'm going to modify this to make it make it fit. Because you just can't find them. If this one actually doesn't have this skirt on it. So I'm going to cut that skirt off a little tiny bit. I can get the back bolt to fit. That's no drama but it won't fit past that. So what I could do, I could take the recoil assembly off and then how far out is that? Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna, cut, I'm gonna cut that, Harry, just to make that fit. As long as it sits down over that air filter, we'll be good to go. But unfortunately, Harry, it's not the right one, but you know me, I'll make it fit. Okay, it's done. Managed to just get that one done. So now the air box is on there nice and tight. That ain't coming from nowhere, bolted down. I had to force it, to be fair. Um, it's all in there, it's all sealed. There's no water gonna get in there, which is cool. Uh, I had to modify the inside to put a new new air filter in as well. But yeah, it's, yeah, for what it is, it's done, you know, I'm happy with it. So I had to put a new pull cord on there as well. Um, the chances of me finding uh, the correct air box for that are quite slim. I did speak to Ken over in, uh, in America. I spoke to lots of people. I couldn't find it or nowhere available, but uh, that, that will do. So now, new pull cord as well, just been fitted. And now, that's ready to rock and roll. So super happy with that one. Right, let's go on this Honda HRX 476. Okay, HRX 476 up on the old bench. Uh, this should be a quick little video, hopefully. Uh, one Phillips screwdriver needed. Um, take off the, uh, the two screws that hold on your um, side cover. There'd be a bolt to remove as well. So take them off. Like so. We're going to put them just to one side because I don't want to lose them. They're likely just to fall off there. I know they are. And then there'd be a little tiny, I think it's a 12 mil uh, socket up on here. And then a 12 mil down here. I think it's a 12 mil, let me double check. Uh, yeah, 12 mil down here to remove this um, nut here. It's on there. With that 12 mil nut then removed. There 
goes. There'd be a little tiny washer behind there as well, just go careful with that. You can then slide off this um, side inspection plate. That slides up. Keep your nut and your, and your plate, you don't want to be losing that. And here is the offending article. It looks like it's got a gutter bolt style uh, bolt on the back, which I think would be around about a 10 or 11 mil. Let's try an 11. Uh, okay, it'd be a 10 then. 11 will fit, but I think I, uh, a 10 will fit better. Yeah, 10 will fit better. And then the same 10 mil ratchet on top is actually going to be an eight. Oh, Lord. That goes on to there. Oh. And all we're going to do, now that might even be a captive nut on there. I think it is captive. We're going to loosen that one off. Yeah, I think they're captive. That's cool if they are. So that way I don't have to use a spanner behind the next one. Oh. That's cool. So there's your broken bit, which is snapped off just here. Okay. And then with our new part, which is a genuine Honda part. As I say, there's a part number for you guys and girls just there, okay? Now, if you remember, we had the, the um, these bits here were on the inside, so that's gotta go, uh, go through there. Like that, and that sits there. So it goes on that way around. So these bits here go on the outside, so it, it sits perpendicular. Uh, inside the height adjustment. I might give this, this chain a bit of an all as well here, Luke, whilst we're in, mate. Because the old chain looks a little bit dry. So we'll give it a bit of a grease up for you. Free of charge, Luke, free of charge. I don't suppose this has been off for a while. And literally just put that bolt into there. And we're then going to nick that one up. It's amazing how one little tiny part like that can stop your whole entire day and you know stop you earning hundreds of pounds potentially and you've got to wait two or three days for a part and then possibly two or three weeks for a, a lawn care business to come and come and fit it for you uh, that then goes that's got this is a bit awkward this bit this has got a slide down this down this arm uh, it's a bit it's a bit tricky, I must admit. It slides down. I'm gonna put some oil on there first and I'll mix. That's what I said I'll do for a charge, don't I? There you go, let's put a bit of oil on there, look. Oh yeah. That old chain looks like it's uh, not had a happy birthday in a little while. Happy birthday, Mr. Chain. more oil in there too by the looks of it. But that'll be enough on there. <clears throat> Got a little bit more three and one up here actually. I don't know if there's any in that one. Let's get a bit of three and one. There it is. There you go. Happy birthday, Mr. Chain. There you go. So now we can slide this inspection plate back on. Slide that down into its home. That is a bit, a bit as I say, a bit of a pickle to fit because you've got you've got three little tiny grooves here in which it sits in, and it had to sort of sit sit right. And it gets to a certain point, and then it don't want to go no more. There we are a bit of a pickle. Like that, like that. That's it. And then put your little tiny washer on. And then you've got your little tiny nut goes on there. That goes on to that one. Uh, what were we on there? We were a 12, weren't we? It was a 12, 
travel farting here. That one onto there. Nice and tight. And then you want your Phillips screwdriver. And you just want to put back in your two Phillips screws. One in there. One in the other hole. There's a bit of a bit of moving about just to locate it. It'll just come back this way a touch. There it is. Screw that down. Lovely. So now, when we operate the height control, that should now work. So it was on the, on the deck beforehand. Now it goes all the way up and all the way down. A very, very simple fix, which will stop you using your machine. Now fully working, done inside a day. Boom, and there you have it. A quick little fix on this Honda HRX476. Other models are very, very similar and a cheap part off the internet costs around about 20 odd quid. Uh, can get you up and running again in no time at all. Some um, lawnmower shops would have this machine in for three or four weeks, just waiting in the background for the part to be uh, part to come in and for them to get to the machine. This machine was turned around inside a day. If you like the sort of video of mixed mows and mower man, hit the old subscribe button or whack the old bell. Set notifications to all that way you'll be told next time I upload another video. And it's completely free to subscribe. I have lots of videos on my channel on how to fix all different makes and models of garden equipment. So if you did enjoy it, give us a big old thumbs up as I say. I'll see you around on the next video coming soon. I upload twice a week on, on the Mixed Mowers channel. And um, until then, don't forget, take it easy.